seniors uh, encompasses all of those, you know, those players, and we were really, really fortunate to have a group of guys that uh, were tremendous kids, tremendous competitors, um, and absolute, you know, warriors in every so many senses of that phrase or that word. Um, you know about Steve, as you said, and Wesley, and Jonah, and Kenyatta, and, uh, but Charlie. You know, Matt being a dual sport athlete here. And you talk about Alex, you know, guys who were tremendous leaders in our locker room. Um, examples, you know, for the other guys to look up to in a lot of different ways. Every day that they're, I mean, giving great effort and competing and not taking a back seat. Um, and the true believers in everything that we're trying to instill and emphasize in our program. We've always talked about not evaluating us based on the score, on the scoreboard. And I told him that uh, this was another one of those moments where it was important not to do that. And I thought that they were tremendous, you know, in our last game, and tremendous throughout this whole season. Um, and I, I told them how, how meaningful this year has been, how proud we are as a coaching staff and st uh, as a staff in general of what they were able to do this season and then the effort and how they played in the final game. And I know it still hurts, it still hurts me and hurts them, but uh, we're not gonna evaluate things based on what a number says. We're gonna evaluate how we feel you know, about us. And, uh, and I told them we should hopefully have a lot of positive things to feel good about us. This was a group, you know, we didn't score as well as we've done in the past, but we really had to dig down and guard and defend. Um, and I thought this team really relied on each other uh, as much as any team we've had uh, because of that, because of our shortcomings offensively. Um, so you have to kind of make up for it in other ways and rely on each other in different ways. And then, and then your defense has to really become your calling card. And we've always preached that and have felt that's been what our program has been built on. But I think this team in particular truly had to embrace and embody that. And I, I thought they did. I mean, I, we were an outstanding defensive team. Um, and we needed to be, and we needed to rely on each other. So I, I think if I'm looking at an aspect of this group, this team this year, they really relied on each other, and they really defended. And that was, to me as a coach and as a teacher, and, and probably a lot of coaches, um, can't ask so much more than that. You know, we're hopeful that guys will grow and emerge, um, you know, through the summer, through the spring, through the, you know, in the fall to, um, We've seen that happen a lot in our program where players have developed, and that's been one of the calling cards of our program to maintain a certain level of success. Uh, players within the program have, have, have improved. And, um, but those two guys in particular, I mean, you, you're talking about you know, Wesley being our, you know, our best player for three years. Steve been an incredibly valuable player and, be, and became the defensive player of the year in our conference. I mean, big, big holes to fill, but we've had to fill some big holes in the past. Um, and this is the next round of doing that. And we're hopeful that guys that we have can emerge and can we do it with one particular guy? Maybe not. But will we have enough to do what we need to do for our upcoming year and different team? And how do we put it together? That's the fun part for us as, as coaches and, and as a staff. Uh, can we figure out you know, ways to shape and mold the group that we have uh, we had to do that with this team. We were challenged offensively. So we had to rely on different things, different ways to uh, figure out ways to win. And, and I was you know, very proud of our kids for, uh, for doing that.